back, Digital Slang, back again with another video today. Another pair of headphones. These are the Beats Studio 3 wireless headphones, Wish.com. Guys, I love Wish.com. It's got some crazy stuff on it. I found these. I was scrolling through Wish, and I'll show you guys the website here. These say they are a 2021 upgrade, right? The upgraded version. It says the refurbished. It says pure ANC. It's all BS. These, just by the packaging alone, this packaging is straight trash. We know these are going to be clones, but I had to try them out because they're 15 bucks, right? It was $14 and some change plus shipping. So how bad can they be for 15 bucks? So we're going to open them up. We'll check them out. We're going to dive right in. Beat Studio Wireless. And I had to get the black and red because, you know, that's how I roll black and red. So the picture of them on the front, and again, the package, it's, it's trash. There's tape on the bottom, but if that's what they look like for 15 bucks, if they sound decent, it's a win. So we'll check it out on the back. It's going to tell us a little bit about it. Adaptive noise canceling, remote talk, 20 hours. We'll do all the testing, check it out. Battery fuel gauge, it's just some LED lights with the gauge, auto on and off. Let's just dive in, open it up, check it out, start testing it. I want to hear how these sound. And 15 bucks, hopefully, they were worth it. Definitely not authentic. This thing, beat, everything in here is just beat to hell. Oh my. Terrible. So what do we got here? We got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And then we have a micro USB cable to charge. And this thing is tiny. It's literally that long. That's, that's terrible. Come on, man. Even clones should be better than that. But here are the replicas. Let's take this plastic off. So looking at these things, look, they're straight garbage. These are not very well made. They're pretty cheap. They're gonna snap if I if I really give a stress test. They do fold up, so I don't know how long this is gonna last. It's gonna snap off if I keep doing it. The the cuffs, the, the earmuffs are not even gonna fit over your entire ear. They're very small. And it's just one LED light here on the side. You can tell right now it's it's searching for pairing. And these are actually smoother than I thought they would be. They're a lot smoother than the bows that we tried out a couple weeks ago. We'll see if these controls work, but the power is right here. And just listen to that. You can hear the whole thing just moving. Parts are just not, it's just not well made at all. It's straight trash. It's 15 bucks, so I guess, you know, you get what you pay for sometimes. But let's see if we can connect them. So if we go into Bluetooth, no kidding, the, it came right up. Look, Beat Studio 3 came right up. We hit connect. Let's see if they connect. I'm shocked. I didn't expect that at all. Not at all. So the real animation, totally shocked by that. Did not expect that. We hit done. Let's play some music, see how they sound. Is there an L and an R for the... Nope, no L and R. So we don't know which side it's supposed to go on, but let's just throw them on. They don't cover my ears completely. So you're going to have some sound leakage. But let's, let's play some music, check them out, see how they sound. be honest I'm shocked how these things sound look when I first opened the box and saw them and felt them and started playing around with them not impressed at all straight trash but the pop-up animation to connect the sound they're loud as hell very loud and there's some bass there there is some decent sound I'm not gonna say it's great but it's loud as hell there's some bass it's a little muffled, right? It's not the clearest of sound, but overall it's for 15 bucks. It's loud as hell and there's some bass. You're going to hear the bass. So I don't think what you're paying for these is probably the sound surpasses the price point on these. So with the animation and the sound, I'm definitely impressed and I'm shocked because this is not how I thought this video was going to go after I opened these up. But Let's just keep going with the testing now. All right, guys, so the touch controls, the way they work. If we play some music, the B, the beats button, or the beats button in the middle, if we just hit it once, it's gonna pause. If we hit it again, 
it's going to play. These do also control the volume. So if we hold down, the volume is going to go down and it jumps around. It's a little finicky. It just, it just jumps from here to there. So if we hold it up, it goes up. And again, these things get really loud. And if you want to go to the previous track and the next track, you just hit that once. That's going to go back, start that song over, go back to the next track or the previous track and go forward to the next track. And this top and bottom button, your top button is your power button. And the bottom button, it, it's supposed to go into like ANC mode, but it doesn't do anything. It just makes a noise and pauses it. Look for 15 bucks again. When I opened this up and I started to unbox these things, the, the packaging is terrible. You pull them out and they don't feel good at all. But the controls actually work really well. And the sound quality for $15, I'm comparing the sound at a $15 price point. It's great for 15 bucks. If it was 40 bucks, 50 bucks, it'd be loud and there'd be some bass, but it's not clear enough. But at 15 bucks, it's definitely worth it. So if you want a cheap pair of Beats Wireless from Wish.com, you might want to check them out because, again, not how I thought this video was going to go. I was ready to trash these things and just go in on them. But I'm actually very surprised about these. Let's check out the latency, see how they do with video. We'll go into YouTube and we'll check them out. You know, crazy surprise. No, no delay. No delay at all. And they're loud. I had to lower it. They're too loud. Look, for 15 bucks, I'm cool with it, right? Now, will these be used by me every day? No, nah, I'll probably bring them to work where I can trash them and use them at work. But the black and red, I dig the colorway. The, the packaging, straight trash. Forget about it. The cables, the, the 3.5 millimeter jack, that's probably the best thing. The charging cable is like this long. It's terrible. Straight trash. The quality, not very good quality. Not a good build. And the ear cups right here, they don't even fit. They don't cover your whole ear. But the look of them, if you just want to flex and get that look of the Beach Studios, not that they're the best headphones to begin with, you're only paying 15 bucks. Granted, you're going to have to wait for shipping from Wish.com, but what you get, the controls work pretty well. The sound quality is worth 15 bucks. There's no delay when you're watching content. So overall, I'm, I'm shocked how the rest of this video went after opening them up. So it is what it is. Beats, wish.com. I'll drop the link below, guys. There's multiple colorways. There's like five or six different colors. You can check them out. It says 2021 upgraded version. They're not. It's all BS. But they're worth 15 bucks, and that's about all they're worth. But it is what it is, guys. That's it for the video. We'll be back soon. Still working on the main channel, trying to get it back. It's almost there. I think I was able to make some videos public today, old videos from the old channel. But we'll see. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back soon. Peace. Thank you.